Hi, I thought I'd join the YouTube soap bubble fun. So I set up a C stand and a boom and an umbrella. And then I put my camera under the umbrella with my macro lens and blew some soap bubbles. Uh, first thing I tried was mixing water, vegetable glycerin, and soap in equal parts. And as you can see, it quickly freezes out. The bubble lasts a long time, but you lose the dynamics. You know, after the soap bubble froze, it's a good time to take some pictures if you want. You can see you get a lot of fine structure with vegetable glycerin. Then I tried mixing water, propylene glycol, and soap, all in equal parts. And you see, you get a very dynamic display, and it stays very dynamic right up until the bubble pops. Then I tried mixing equal parts of water and soap, and then half and half vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol, hoping to get some of both. So you get the dynamic display, and then it freezes out, but it takes much longer to freeze out. So this is the solution I've used going forward. It was hard taking macro shots of a spherical surface. And so I moved to a technique you see on YouTube where you, I used a wooden ring and then I wrapped paracord around it. And then you soak the whole thing in the soap bubble mixture. Now you're taking a picture of a plane instead of a sphere. And this works pretty well. And again, this is the mixture with all four water, soap, propylene glycol, and vegetable glycerin. And it works pretty good. You see the lower part of the ring freezes up pretty good, but the upper part stays dynamic. And you can continually drip soap bubble solution onto the paracord and keep feeding it. So it, this was pretty neat. You can just have a lot of fun watching this for pretty much as long as you want. Eventually it will all freeze out, but it does take quite a bit of time. Next I show how tilting this plane of soap changes its color. And since it's thin film interference, as you tilt it, you change the effective length that the waves are interfering. And so the wavelength would change in the colors. So then I thought I'd get bolder and I attached my five power Mitotoyo objective to my 200 millimeter Minolta lens so I could get effectively five power on a full frame sensor and take a closer look here. It was kind of difficult because the plane of focus is just razor thin. Of course, everything moves pretty fast because it's so highly magnified, but there's some very neat structures. You can drill down and see the detail of the turbulence. So we'll uh, just keep watching this five power sort of extreme macro soap bubble turbulence for uh, the next minute or so. Hope you enjoyed this. I tried to keep it real short. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye.